Talk business. The government says it will have a state-of-the-art terminal at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport before the year 2027. Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen says the government will begin the process of inviting investors by September this year. He spoke during the official opening of Air France KLM New Africa headquarters in Nairobi. Denis Otieno reports. The government has termed the proposed modern terminal at JKIA as a game changer in the East African region. Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Mukomen has confirmed the hunt is on for an investor to take up the mega project. In the next couple of weeks, um, I should give ourselves at most two months, should have been able to uh, put in public the expression of interest for investors to come and build a new terminal. The Jomo Kenyatta International Airport now serves an average of 8 million passengers annually, up from 2 million passengers it served following its construction in 1978. This has led to inefficiencies and breakdowns, which the government hopes to change in the next four years. And we want to move it to at least 30 million uh, a year uh, uh, and, uh, or more. But uh, I really want not to confirm that that will be the figure because it will be subject to the uh, expression of interest we are going to put forward, the evaluation process and the capacity of the or us to attract uh, a good investment. The CA spoke during the opening of Air France KLM New Africa headquarters in Nairobi. The decision of opening our new offices here uh, follows a restructuring exercise that we finished in 2021. Um, it revealed that the Eastern African market, which we traditionally manage out of Nairobi, showed many similarities in terms of uh, competitive landscape, um, uh, uh, competitive landscape and, and the marketplace and the language with, with South African uh, markets in Nigeria and Ghana. The new office will provide customers with a wide range of services, even as the airline continues to adopt sustainable measures in its operations. We aim for a reduction of 30% of uh, CO2 emission by 2030 and we want to be net zero by 2050. You know, it's so difficult to bring two organizations with their own cultures, to bring it together into one. Uh, and, and, and this group of uh, airlines, they have succeeded in bringing it together, but still also maintain their own culture. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.